The painting depicts Adonis being awoken by a kiss from the goddess Aphrodite. In Greek mythology, Adonis was a mortal lover of the goddess Aphrodite. He was said to be the most handsome man in the world, which prompted a lot of interest and spite from the gods. One day, Adonis was injured by a wild boar, possibly sent by the god Ares who was jealous of him. Adonis died in the arms of Aphrodite as she wept, as blood mingled with her tears and became the anemone flower. Today, the name Adonis is still used to describe handsome men. Pandora was a character from Greek mythology who according to a myth was given a box from the gods with clear instructions not to open it. Unfortunately, Pandora's curiosity got the better of her, and she peeked into the box releasing great evils like sickness and death which spread widely across the earth. However, before she closed the box, Pandora also discovered a power called hope. She released it too in an effort to aid mankind. Today, the phrase Pandora's box is used as an idiom meaning a source of great and unexpected troubles or a present which appears to be valuable but is in reality a curse. In the story of Cupid and Psyche, Psyche is a beautiful mortal woman who is admired by all, including the gods. Venus, the goddess of love and beauty, becomes jealous of Psyche's beauty and commands her son Cupid to make Psyche fall in love with a monster. However, Cupid accidentally pricks himself with his own arrow and falls in love with Psyche instead. Cupid and Psyche begin a secret love affair, but Venus is not pleased when she learns of their relationship. She warns Psyche not to try to discover Cupid's true identity, but Psyche's curiosity gets the better of her and she secretly looks at Cupid while he is sleeping, when his true form becomes apparent. As a result, Cupid is forced to leave Psyche. Psyche is heartbroken and decides to search for Cupid. She embarks on a series of trials set by Venus, including sorting a mountain of mixed grains and retrieving a box from the underworld. Despite the challenges, Psyche perseveres and ultimately succeeds in completing the tasks. In the end, Cupid and Psyche are reunited and Psyche is granted immortality. The story of Cupid and Psyche is often seen as a metaphor for the journey of the soul towards enlightenment and ultimate union with the divine. The painting depicts a Greek god Hermes carrying out his responsibility of delivering the souls of recently deceased to the underworld. In ancient Greek mythology, Akron is one of the five rivers in the underworld. Hermes delivers the souls to one bank of the river and a mythological pheromon Charon transports them to the other side so the souls can continue their journey through the underworld. According to a different version, he transports them across another river called Styx. The painting was inspired by a story assembled from multiple literary works of ancient Greek authors. The story starts with the king of Argos, Agamemnon, sacrificing his daughter Iphigenia to the god Artemis in return for favorable sailing weather which allowed him and his army to travel to Troy and fight in the Trojan War. After the war Agamemnon returns home where his wife, Clytemnestra, murders him for sacrificing their daughter. Agamemnon's son Orstes later returns home to take revenge on his mother for murdering his father and ultimately ends her life. The painting depicts Orstes being tormented by the Furies, female deities of vengeance. In Greek mythology, Icarus was the son of the master craftsman Daedalus. The father and son were imprisoned in a labyrinth on the island of Crete by King Minos for helping his enemies. Icarus and Daedalus attempted to escape from Crete by the means of wings that Daedalus constructed from feathers and wax. Daedalus warned Elcarus to fly neither too low nor too high, so the sea's dampness does not clog his wings or the sun's heat melt them. Icarus ignores Daedalus's instructions not to fly too close to the sun, causing the wax in his wings to melt. He falls out of the sky into the sea and drowns. The myth gave rise to the idiom don't fly too close to the sun referring to recklessness and a careless defiance of limitation. In ancient Greek mythology, Lamia was a beautiful queen of Libya who had an affair with Zeus. Upon learning this, Zeus's wife Hera robbed her of her children either by kidnapping or killing them. The loss of her children drove Lamia insane, and in vengeance and despair, Lamia became a child-eating monster. She would also seduce young men, satisfy their desires, and feast on their flesh afterwards. In Greek mythology, Narcissus was a son of the river god Cephasus and the nymph Lyrio. Narcissus was obsessed with his beauty, eventually fell in love with his own reflection in a pool of water and spent the rest of his life staring at it. After he died, in his place sprouted a flower bearing his name, known as daffodil in English. A term narcissism is used today to describe a self-centered personality characterized as having an excessive interest in one's physical appearance and an excessive preoccupation with one's own needs, often at the expense of others.